Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodlags.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. In this video, we draw lines on an image in Google Docs. Except for simple lines, Google Docs lets you create arrows, connection and curved lines, polylines and even scribble by hand. And of course, customize them the way you want. Drawing lines in Google Docs means creating an image at first. That's just how it's made here. And in Google Docs, we do that via a drawing canvas. So, let's get there. We start by clicking on the Insert on the toolbar. And then in a the menu, we go down to the third item, Drawing, and now click in New on the right. That opens a drawing canvas, which is really easy to work with. Usually at first, you create text boxes or upload an image to draw over it. So, let me quickly get one from my computer this rightmost icon for the image and then I'm just dropping it here from my PC. Now it's time to draw lines and for that we need namely this icon on a toolbar with a line. Once you press on it, you can go on and draw a line. Put the mouse pointer where you want the line to start. Press hold it and move it to the end point. Now release and here it is. If you want to move it somewhere else, press escape to exit the drawing mode. Then press hold on the line and drag it where you want it to be. If you want to resize it and change the start and end points, pull from either end of the line where you see these circles. And you'll be able to rearrange line end and start points. Now from here we customize the looks of the line. And here in the toolbar, these are the tools for that. The first is the line color, where you pick either some standard one or do a custom with this plus icon. I will pick a red one. Next in the menu, we have line weight, where you basically select how thick you want your line to be. Let's do 4 pixels. Then it's a line dash if you'd like. And the buttons to create arrow pointers on the start or the end of the line. Concerning other options that we have, click on this little down arrow next to the line symbol and you'll see other types of lines you can draw. Let's quickly overview each, resuming from the arrow. So when the arrow is active, you draw a line as usual, but its end point will have an arrow head on it. As you can see, that you can customize if you click here. It can be a round, square type and others. And you can also add an arrow to the line start point with this. Getting back to the line selection. And the next one is elbow connector. Which looks like what it sounds. The line that is bent in the middle. And when you draw it, it adapts to where you plan to place the end point. And you can rearrange its ends by exiting the creation mode with escape. And then pull either end of the line and place it how you like. Additionally, you can move this bent line in the middle. For that, select the figure and then pull this yellow triangle in the middle, right or left. There we go. Then, on the menu, we have a common curve line. Let me draw it. Which main difference is that you can change its curve angle by pulling this light triangle in the middle. Back to the menu. The next is a curve, which is similar but allows you to make one unbroken figure with multiple curves at once. For that, click on the stop point with no need to hold the mouse and then choose the end point of the current line. But it doesn't end here. Your next move will curve this line like this. And then click to create a one more middle point. With the next click, you curve it again and you can keep going. To keep drawing the curve, press on the last created point. And here it is. By the way, you cannot rearrange the points of this shape after drawing, only create a new one. Back to the menu. I'm skipping the polyline since this is kind of a tool to create shapes. And the last is the scribble, which is what it sounds like. Meaning drawing any line you want by hand, 
which is frequently used for signatures like this. And then you customize it like the normal line. When you're done, hit save and close at the top right corner. And here you have it in the document. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on thegoodacts.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.